What's going on guys? I just want to say just quickly before this video starts, Captain Looks made this week's thumbnail and this has just blown all of the competition out of the water, pun intended, for this week's video. And I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. So I'm going to buy the entire Russ Adams store um, for this week for him, just as a thank you. I wasn't doing a giveaway for this week, but I think he's done a really good job and he definitely deserves the Russ Adams store. So I'm going to buy all of the skins for him and give them to him when they're available for trade. Now let's get started with this week's video. What's going on guys? I'm going to back at again with the weekly Russ skins videos and today we have a new Russ Adams store that is themed off of this week's Rust Force Swipe. Um, and Rust has now introduced sharks, AI, underwater monuments, procedurally generated submarines and fishing. So that's really cool. I can't wait to actually play it myself. Let's get started with the clothing and we will start off with the fisherman burlap set. So this is a boonie hat and some burlap clothing, the shirt and pants. And overall for this set, all of them are $1.30 each, which is standard store price for clothing. So that is really good. First off, the fisherman hat. Um, does actually have another fisherman boonie hat in the community market which is a similar theme to this one is obviously a fishing hat and is also camoed um, I'm just gonna say it now that hat on the community market is uh, $30 whereas this one is a dollar and 30 cents so I don't think that's really going to impact the prices on the community market that much of the previous hat just because it doesn't have a very high quantity so I really don't think that people are going to be trying to dump that hat just because most people will have it as a play skin or they just won't really know about um, the Russell and Storm be paying too much attention to the prices but overall for the fisherman hat I do think that this is definitely going to be a safe investment for that exact reason uh, there's another hat on the community market that is $30 that is quite similar to this one um, and as long as the fisherman hat doesn't get oversaturated I do think that it will be a safe investment currently it's six on the top sellers so I do think that it's sitting in a really good spot at the moment when it comes to oversaturation I feel like it's unlikely um, things can obviously change throughout the week but at the moment I do think the fisherman hat is going to be a really good investment the only nitpick I'd really have to say about it um, is that it doesn't have boonie hat in its name it just has fisherman hat um, I do think that that makes it a little bit harder to find certain skins on the community market once they've released and left the Rust Adam store um, so that's really just my only nitpick for this skin overall I do think the fisherman hat is going to be a really good investment really safe and overall, even if it doesn't perform well short term on the community market, it's going to be a money maker long term and it will be a safe long term investment. Overall, I definitely will recommend investing in the fisherman hat for this week. As for the burlap pants and the burlap shirt, overall, I do also think these are going to be pretty safe investments as well. A little bit less safe in comparison to the beanie hat, just because we have had some previous burlap clothing get oversaturated to the max. For example, the disco burlap clothing. Um, but I do think that they have a very different vibe in comparison to the Fisherman burlap shirt and pants. So overall, I do think that the pants are going to be a little bit better than the shirt, and that is mainly because the shirts usually get invested in or bought by regular people more in comparison to the pants, which is currently also what I'm looking at right now on the top sellers. The Fisherman burlap shirt is third last, and the burlap pants are second last so obviously that means the burlap shirt has been bought more than the pants overall i do think that these are both also going to be very safe investments um, and i would recommend getting the pants over the shirt but either way i do still think that they're both going to be easy money makers both only a dollar and 30 cents both also camo clothing and camo clothing is um, obviously going to be something that most people want especially during their prim part of their wipe which burlap clothing is obviously associated with so overall i will recommend investing in all of the fisherman stuff for this week and i do definitely think these are going to make you easy money all three pieces here's brucey Alrighty, moving over to the shark head wrap going for a dollar and 30 cents this is the standard store price for burlap head wraps and this is indeed a burlap head wrap skin overall i do think that this is going to be a slightly riskier investment in comparison to the skins we were just looking at but still a safe investment the cheapest Bell up head wrap on the community market is $1.53 and that's the fish head um, and then we've got the bandit head wrap for $1.53 as well uh, and then the cheapest one after those two is the death mask for $2.71 and then it goes up to $4.50 and then goes up even higher than that all the way to $17.64. Currently we have 10 bell up head wraps on the community market and they are all performing quite well obviously besides the fish head but that got oversaturated to the max. 
Overall, I do think that the Shark head wrap will still be a safe investment, not as safe as the um, Bell Up clothing, but still a safe investment. And that's only because the Bell Up head wrap doesn't get used as much in rust in comparison, um, just because it doesn't offer as much head protection. Although this is definitely a very meme skin and I do see a lot of role players picking this one up and buying it. Also because it is such a meme, I do think that the demand for it will be a lot higher once people become aware of the skin. And I also do think that a YouTuber like Spoon Kid or someone like that, that definitely has a big following, will probably add this to one of their videos one day, just being a troll. It'll get a lot of people's attention and then the price of it will increase. So overall, I definitely will recommend investing in the shark head wrap for this week, even if you just buy one as a play skin. Um, I do see potential in the shark head wrap making you some easy money and it's only going for a dollar and 30 cents. So I will recommend investing in this for this week. All right, and we went over to the Metal Waves bow going for $2.60. I didn't actually realize how many skins we had in this Russell Arm store. It's a lot. Um, overall for the Metal Waves bow, I do think it is actually a really unique looking skin. It's got like this uh, cool little effect on it and it's all blue and it just looks pretty sick overall. And it's quite shiny, um, but we do have two out of four pages of bow skins below $2.60. That's currently what this bow skin is going for. And it is the center store price for tools, weapons, and bows. And so I don't think that this is going to be a very safe investment. And I do think that there's other skins that you can definitely invest in and make a lot more money in. So really for those reasons, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Metal Waves bow for this week. I don't think it's going to be a safe investment. And even if you pick it up as a play skin, there is a 50% chance of it going down in value. So if you want to pick up this one, I'd recommend getting it off the community market, but overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in this off of the Ross Adams store for this week. All right, I'm moving over to the Shark AR, an AK skin going for $3.25. And have got to say, I do like it better when the um, AK actually has the word AK in its name, even though obviously it is called an assault rifle in the game. I do think that it's easier to find AK um, for most players. So overall, the art on the AK does look pretty sick. It's pretty much just a painting on top of a default AK skin by the looks of it. And I do actually think that I think it looks quite unique, pretty cool. Um, and it does obviously have that cool pirate theme to it. Plus the skin creator has added a cool little gift to their Rust Adam store so that we can check out the progress of how the skin was made. And overall, I do actually think that looks absolutely sick. So I'm going to show you guys that um, right now, I probably would have already been showing you, but overall, I think that actually looks really nice. And I really do like when skin creators add that extra little bit of detail and that extra little bit of effort into their presentation for their skins. And overall, I do actually really like this Shark AK, but it is going for $3.25, which is above Sinistral price. And overall, I do think that most people have their own AKs in mind for what they want to buy already. Most people are going for play skin AKs and usually they're going to be picking up something more expensive like a um, Alien Red Anubis or something with a glow sight usually um, or one of those more popular skins. So overall for the Shark AK, I'm not going to recommend investing in it off the Ross Adams store just because of its price and I don't think that AK skins are very safe investments. Although overall I do really like the skin, I'm not going to recommend investing in it for this week off of the Ross Adams store. Alrighty, moving over to the Submarine SAR, going for $2.60 in the store price for weapons and SAR skins. And overall, I actually think this is a really unique looking SAR skin. It reminds me a lot of Banana, but obviously it is based off of a Submarine. Um, I really do like what this looks like. We have three out of the seven pages below $2.60. So overall, SAR skins are a lot more of a safe investment in comparison to um, other weapons such as the AK or the Python. Um, so I do think that if you pick this up as a play skin, you will make money still if you sell it eventually. Uh, but overall as a, an investment, I do think that there is better skins to be investing in. So really just for that reason alone, I'm not going to recommend investing in the submarine SAR. Overall, I do like the SAR skin, but I just don't think it is standout enough um, for you to actually be making a large amount of money off of. Currently it is last on the top sellers page. Obviously there's more. Um, skins than what's on the top sellers page, so it's not last on the top sellers. Uh, I didn't realize that there was these extra skins, but overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the submarine SAR for this week. It is in a pretty good spot, pretty safe spot, unlikely to be oversaturated, but I just don't think it's going to have a crazy high demand once it goes onto the community market. 
So for that reason, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Submarine SAR for this week. Alrighty, moving over to the Fish Bag. This is a continuation of the Fish set, which has been a very popular set. Lots of people do love this set. It is a very meme looking skin, and the eyes look really cursed on this. Overall going for $1.95, which is the standstill price for sleeping bags, bags and deployables. I do think that this fish bag should be a pretty safe investment. Sleeping bag skins don't really seem to have a very high demand, even though a lot of people, or pretty much everyone in Rust actually does use sleeping bags, unless they're using a bed, and obviously they'll be using a sleeping bag. Um, overall though, I don't think that they're going to make you a massive amount of money, so I'm not going to recommend investing them in bulk, um, but I do think that they are going to just be safe investments, so I do think they'll definitely make you some money, um, but not a massive amount. So if you don't have a very large Steam wallet, then I would recommend getting these, but if you do have a larger Steam wallet, then I do think there's better things for you to buy. Overall, I will recommend investing in the fish bag for this week. I don't think that it's going to be one of my top investments um, on the Ross Autumn store for this week, but I do think it's going to be one of my safest, so I will recommend investing in the fish bag for this week. Alrighty, moving on to the Going Deep Sheet Metal Door Skin. Overall, this is a really nice looking sheet metal door skin. Very simple, but really nice looking. I wish it said Going Deep on it. I would love it even more if it did. Um, but overall, I really do like the style on this. It's very simple, but um, I do think that this is definitely a standout skin in my opinion. It is going for $4.60, so that is its biggest downfall. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to make money off of something that is more expensive on the Rust Island store when it goes to the community market because obviously it then has to start at that high point, so $4.60, and then it has to go up from there. Plus, you also have to take into account that the Steam tax will take a little bit of your money when you do sell the skin. So it's going to have to be a, a fair bit in order for you to actually make money. Overall, I really do like the skin, but I do think that it's going to be a safer investment if you pick it up on the community market with the buy order. I do think you're going to be able to get it for a little bit cheaper at the start of its lifespan on the community market. But after that, I do think you're definitely going to be able to make some easy profits off of the going deep sheet metal door skin. And if this set does continue, which to be honest, I do highly doubt it will. But if it does, then this will stonk to the moon. Um, overall, I will recommend investing in it. But I would mainly recommend investing in it off of the community market just because of its $4.60 price point. I do think that it is quite expensive for the first skin of its set. And that is even if it does even become a set. So overall, it's a little bit of a riskier investment in my opinion. But if you pick it up off of the community market with the buy order for a little bit cheaper, then that will obviously increase your chances of making some easy potential profits. So overall, I will recommend investing in the going deep sheet metal door skin off of the community market for this week. Alrighty, the fan favorite Neon Charcoal Storage. Neon Storage returns going for $3.25, which is the standard store price for all of the Neon Storage stuff, but is not standard store price for large wooden boxes usually. Um, glowing Deployable, it is a continuation of a very popular set. Um, I don't really think I need to say too much about this. Honestly, I don't like that it says char. I would much prefer it to say charcoal on the ends. Um, that is definitely my biggest pet peeve on this skin. Um, and my nitpick on it. Uh, currently, the Neon storage set isn't performing as well as it was. It's lost a little bit of its hype, plus we've also lost a little bit of hype for Rust because the OTB's over. The quantities for all of the Neon stuff, especially the later skins, have oversaturated the market to the max, but I do think that this is where it's gonna start to turn around a little bit. We have had a week or two off of Neon storage, I'm pretty sure it's just been one week, and that has taken the hype away from it a little bit. Perfect time for us to be reinvesting by picking up a Neon Charcoal storage box. I don't think this is going to be a massive stonks maker like the gun box or something like that. That is just because this is a more niche box, which I do think is going to be more like the Neon Stone storage box, which is only just above the center store price. It's currently $3.56, but I do think that that is around what this charcoal storage box is going to go for at the start, and that is because it is more of a specific sorting box because obviously it's only for charcoal and not something like boom, which you can put multiple things in like explore ammo, satchels, bean can grenades, um, you name it. Overall, I do think that this is still going to be a safe investment. You might be able to get it for a little bit cheaper on the community market, but I'm going to recommend investing in off the Rustodom store just because I do think that 
the quantity isn't going to be anywhere near as high as the sulfur storage which had 983 it's the cheapest neon storage box on the community market and i also do still think that it's going to be below the stone storage box as well which is the second cheapest on the market with 681 i think we're probably going to get around about 200 maybe 150 or so of the neon charcoal storage boxes and i do think that it's probably going to sit around four dollars at the start when it goes from the rust on store to the community market and honestly i do think that that is a perfectly fine and safe starting point for the neon charcoal storage box and all of the neon storage stuff is going to be a safe investment long term just because it is going to be such an accessible sorting set for people to buy in the future so for those reasons, I'm going to recommend investing in the Neon Charcoal Storage Box for this week off of the Ross Adams store. Right, moving over to the Ocean Castle Furnace, going for $1.95 to install price for furnace skins. And I do think that this is a okay looking furnace skin. I don't think that it's going to be a very standout furnace skin. It does have a little bit of emission glow in the night when it's turned on, um, which I will show you guys. And overall, for $1.95, I think that this is a fine skin, but I don't think that it's going to be a fine investment, to be honest. I don't think that it's standout enough, and I don't think that um, it's going to have a crazy high demand. Currently, it's not even on the Rust Adam Store's top sellers page, so obviously people aren't too into it at the moment on the Rust Adam Store, and I do think that it's going to be a similar outcome on the community market when it is released. In saying that, though, the quantity for it will most likely be pretty low because of that, um, but overall, I'm still not going to really recommend investing in the Ocean Castle Furnace skin for this week just because I don't think there's going to have um, pretty much any demand once it goes to the community market. So for that reason, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Ocean Castle Furnace skin for this week. Um, but overall, I do think it's quite a nice looking furnace skin. All right, moving over to, I think, the final skin of the week. This has been a long video, so thank you. If you're still watching at this point, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. The yellow submarine door, a sheet metal door skin going for $3.25, which is above standard store price for deployables and sheet metal door skins. Um, but this is a glowing sheet metal door skin, and I do think that that is most likely why it is actually above standard store price. Um, overall, I actually really like this yellow submarine door skin, and even though it is quite simple, I do actually think it is quite a standout sheet metal door skin. It has really nice looking lights which glow in the dark obviously, and they actually look pretty good in game. I'll show you guys the glow in the video, and overall I do think it is quite a nice looking skin. Uh, in the daytime as well so that's definitely a win-win when it comes to glowing skins when they look good in the day and also the night for three dollars and 25 cents i do think it is more of a risky investment um, there is a lot of sheet metal door skins on the community market for people to be buying um, so the demand for it isn't going to be crazy high on the community market in my opinion it's going to be a little bit more of a long-term investment but if you are planning on getting a long-term investment then i would recommend investing in this yellow submarine door if you're going for short-term investments i won't recommend investing in it i don't think it's going to be a continuation of a set or anything like that in the future um, but i do think that it will still be a good long-term investment so for that reason i will recommend investing in the yellow submarine door for this week and now we move over to the cart. Alrighty guys, this is my cart for this week. I'm getting a, at least one of everything, of course, because I'm going to be giving all of them to Captain Looks. Uh, I'm getting two of the Neon Charcoal Storage Boxes, two of the Shark Head Wraps, four of the Fisherman Bellap Pants, three of the Bellap Shirts, four of the Fisherman Hats, two of the AKs, two, uh, one of the Metal Waves Bow, two of the Submarine SARs, two of the Fish Bags, two of the Going Deep Sheet Metal Doors, one of the Ocean Castle Furnaces, two of the Yellow Submarine Doors. It's gonna cost me $59.25. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. Why, 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 why?